Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Tarot. For your Law of Attraction Tarot and Oracle card readings, there's a Law of Attraction message linked in the description box if you are interested in that. Happy birthday to anyone who is celebrating if this is your sun sign. We are going to begin with the money reading. I have pulled a Moonology Manifestation card. This will be the underlying theme for both readings, the last quarter moon in Libra. Make time for self-love, okay? So no matter what it is that you're here for and asking about, make time for self-love. Let's begin. What advice do you have for Aries, please, to attract financial abundance and prosperity? What does Aries need to know about money, please? All right, so we will do a four-card reading here. And I'll pull another oracle right at the end. You've got the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. I like that in a money reading. You have the Five of Wands here, so there may be a bit of competition. I do feel like if you're selling something, you may have competing offers here. And there may be something, too, about... I get kind of a feeling with that Five of Wands of, like, vetting people if, you're, if you have something to sell. Now, with this Knight of Swords, this is a, an energy, this is in the past, but it is an energy of full speed ahead. So you may have had a tipping point in some part of your life financially. If it's a, you know, a car that you've fallen out of love with and said, I have to get a new car, I've already started eating Taco Bell in here, that is a signal that we're probably out of love with that vehicle. Or if it's hemorrhaging money. Or even, too, if you found that you are looking for a new job or became interested because you realized something about the job, the commute was too long. Perhaps you're not finding that you're getting promotions or getting paid advanced quickly enough because this is a very impatient energy. He also seeks for the truth, okay? So what this helps you do is eliminate things that are not needed, but it also drives and propels you forward. So not much about self-love with that one, but with this Ace of Swords here. The Queen, yes, we'll talk about that in a minute. But with this Ace of Swords, I feel like it's a second wind. I feel like it's a new take on things financially. Now, for some of you, if you cut things out, like you realized you were spending $100 a month on streaming services and other things, and I'm kind of looking at that and going, that's just ridiculous. This is getting to be crazy. Or you're finding, too, these services suddenly charge a lot more. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, it's a big increase. You go, I don't have time for this. I don't want to have to call these people and keep renegotiating the price. I don't care that much. I'll just use a, you know, smart television or something instead. But I do feel like with this Ace of Swords, if you got committed to doing something, writing a book, starting some kind of social media platform, or maybe an online platform, anything you're committed to taking on, even if it's the other day I tried to schedule an Uber ride and inadvertently scheduled myself as a potential driver. Now I'm getting relentless texts saying, join our team. I did not mean to do that. I take it back. But anyway, if you're trying to go for it, it's going to be as easy as that. You might even stumble across something because I don't normally tell that story. But I do feel like you may even stumble across something now that I've said that where you're going to say, you know what, that is a good way to make money. So with this Queen of Pentacles energy here, talk about balance. The make time for self-love actually makes sense here. I like it a lot. So this is money coming in. Now, if you're looking to sell things, I mentioned that before, with that Ace of Swords, make sure you're, you're vetting people. But this is the kind of energy too, where not only will you make money off of things you don't want or need, but you won't regret it. Okay, you won't look back at that and go, that was a bad idea. With the five, because I trust me, I've, I got convinced to sell a lawnmower once and I really regretted it. But anyway, with this five of wands energy, I, I told you before you have competition, but don't let that get you too, to your eye off of, you know, making good decisions. You're the emperor in the deck, okay? And so that's discipline, authority, making good decisions. But I do feel like you're going to have competition in terms of money, whether it's you selling something or it could even be too, I get it with... um in terms of balancing, like if you're starting something new, some kind of side hustle with your main hustle. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's make sure we get this in. Okay. This is the fortune oracle. You've got thorns. Weathering the challenges will bring a new and positive future. So if you have a little bit of a challenge to negotiate, they're just trying to tell you just working that through is going to bring new and positive experiences ahead. All right. 
Okay, what advice do you have for Aries, please? To attract the love of their lives into their lives, please. What does Aries need to know about love? Same setup, four cards with an oracle here. You've got the three of wands, the tower, the fool, new beginnings coming in, and the nine of wands. Well, if you're saying, when am I ever going to meet a person? When is it ever going to be my turn? Let go to receive, because you have the fool and the outcome, which I like a lot. So the three of wands here, for some of you, if you had a breakup, I do see a second chance, but I feel like it's been a long time coming. The other concern that I'm going to share with you is I can, I'm concerned they may have done more damage than can be fixed and repaired. I feel like if you had a, a partner who left unexpectedly and, and you know that they've been out doing things that you don't think are going to be copacetic with you, I feel like it's time to move on. But with this three of wands, others of you, if you're single or even if you found a relationship, I do see it with the fool as a relationship that flourishes. This three of wands is like setting your intention, but there's a knowing. He's not worried. He's not scared. He's not saying, God, am I ever going to meet anybody? He's saying, look, I know there's 8 billion people out there. And of course, there's one for me. I get approached all the time. No, have they been the right ones yet? Not yet. But I know the right one is coming. And look, at you're worth it. And especially, too, you are hot and sexy in your sun sign. If this is your sun sign, they will come at you like nobody's business. Okay, trust me on that. So this, this tower energy is a big awakening. Now, for someone here, all of you, really, the tower represents a situation in your life that if you don't address it, you're going to feel really out of control. So if it was a breakup and you knew it was coming on some level or you knew things were happening that weren't going in the right direction and you kind of just tried to keep the peace. And if you had a partner too where you couldn't address it because you know it would have made it worse, maybe not the right one, right? If you can't even talk through a problem. If they're not mature enough to handle a discussion about a problem, how is that ever going to work? So I do feel like with this tower, it's it's the best thing for you because I feel like there was some underlying anxiety, like you just couldn't get comfortable with the situation. Now, if you had unfinished emotional business with an ex, I feel like you're finally going to be rid of it. You're going to be able to move far, forward. The tower releases anything that won't work. Now, I do get this, and I'm going to bring it out. If somebody here has what I hear are skeletons in the closet, something about some habits that you have, whether it's, you know, f food issues or gambling or some other thing that you're dealing with, I feel like it's time to address that. And I'm telling you what, you've got a turning point. The tower helps you help yourself. It really is an awakening. It's a brand new beginning. And so with the full energy here, you have a brand new, fresh, clean slate. There's nothing better here. This is your hero's journey. So as you step into this energy, I do feel like you have someone coming in who's going to be trustworthy and loyal. Okay, you have honesty, trust, enthusiasm, adventure showing up here. And so whoever this is too, I feel like they don't show up with baggage. They're not coming into the situation where you have to be their therapist or help them work through things. It's like you're both on equal ground. And especially too, if you had relationships where it wasn't equal, like you were having to explain how to pronounce quinoa and things like that, where you're like, oh God, okay, I'm just gonna let that go. I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it. You know those, you know how we do that. Okay, this is somebody who's at your level and they'll say, I don't like this stuff either. It's kind of bland. But with this nine of uh, wands here, I do feel like they're saying, don't quit five minutes before the miracle happens. You've gotten some wounds here, but I do feel like with this, they're saying, you're worth it to find love. You're worth it to have happiness. Don't settle. Do not settle for someone that you know is not a match. So make time for self-love. And I'll tell you what, the more you love yourself, the more you will attract a loving partner. Miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. So especially something like the tower in a reading is always a gift because it helps you let go of things that don't serve you. It's the end of delusions and the beginning of something beautiful, a beautiful brand new awakening. So great things are on the way for you, Aries. I hope you are loving your season. I love you and I'll be back again soon.